Hi there, if this is the beer program, I'm your home, Adam. You know me at the beer heads and many other names you probably know. I don't know what name those are. Anyway, so we're gonna talk about a beer down in Hamilton, from Hamilton. That's right, it's the Collective Arts Brewery. Now this is part of the Collective Arts, I'm gonna stop waving my hand like this, I'm not Donald Trump or anything. Um, this is um, part of the collective uh, project that they do, and this is IPA number one. Now, if with, now I'm proposing if I can't pronounce the hop correctly, okay? I'm gonna call my app a little bit. So, Nelson, Grove, Stimco, and Crystal Hop. Now, this is a 7.1% alcohol. Now, I'm not sure about the, uh, the IBU. But however, I really like this um, artwork here. Now this is a, an artist from the UK. They did it, but I'm not sure if you can even see it. I do, you know, pretty cool actually. I did a nice little upload stuff. But uh, very cool, very remind me of the Disney, you know, back in the way ago. Anyway, enough about that. Uh, again, this is a classic art brewing from Hamilton, Ontario. And this is a lemon relief, so if you can find it, get it, grab it. So, number one IPA, let's get into it. And we got our lovely beer laundry, the IPA got it. We want to put it to everybody in Toronto. It's tearing on the Toronto Maple Leaf right now, against the red wind, which I'm watching right now. I know, why am I watching the red winding? Well, actually, to be honest, why the hell am I watching the Maple Leaf game? Anyway, look at that. That's a lovely uh, glass here. It's the A2 orangey. Lovely colors, a little bit orangey, a little hazy, lots of carbonation. Big head, big head. Indeed, the big head. Smell wonderful. I tune up for that. It smells awesome. Juicy, crispy. I'm getting a little bit hint of like a you know pineapple in there. Okay. So it follow up with the one with you know juicy, juicy. Uh, we got that a bit of a pine we dine. A lot of tropical flavor going on in this one. It's a bit of a, a little bit bitter in the back, but that's actually quite nice. Actually, it's really a refreshing. Um, it's a really good IPA, you know, especially for a a lemon really a. Uh, That's good. Let's see what else can I talk about this beer. It's a good beer. It's a good IPA. Um, I'm going to give it three and a half out of five. Um, it's a real good beer. And uh, the brewery is awesome. You know, like they're doing some really outstanding beer. Uh, you know, they have the Imperial Porter. You know, the pumping, uh, the pumping group. You probably can see that later on in you know, the beer program. I did a review on that one. Uh, I want to do the Imperial Porter next. Um, uh, yeah. If you ever get a chance to cry out the other regular beer with the half, like Rain Stacked in it and uh, get the blonde, you know. You can get those that out the beer right now. It's <laughs> pretty good. It's probably one of the better uh, IPAs in Ontario out all year round that you can get. It's one of probably the big one. Anyway, uh, for IPA number one, they hit, uh, you know, again, three and a half, but probably will warm up on me. Maybe four, I'm gonna give it four. 
Four out of five. It's actually quite pretty pleasant, you know. It's a very tropical beer, and all the hops, you know, tend to uh, stein off each other. You know, but hello. So for IPA number one, it's a four out of five. So, cheers.